Hello and welcome back to a new Minecraft tutorial and this time this is going to be about cuboid target selectors. Now this is a very powerful tool uh, released in the Minecraft 1.8 update. So I've just used the title command to do that so all I've got set up here is just a few command blocks uh, which are the first ones just setting the times for the title command and then the next ones setting the subtitle and then the next ones setting the title and when I press that it will do it and yeah so now I just need to check whether the command block output is false so it should be so if I quickly say at A and that won't do anything but yeah it should work so this is a really powerful tool I'm about to show you um the way it, first of all I'm going to show you my color codes so let me get this all right so this is a clock I've got running here and this clock is running into every single uh, every single every single command block with orange around it so this command blocks being constantly powered this green area is the area of the border of which we're going to test for so as you can see right now we want to test for from, we're going to test here to here and I'm going to mark that out during the video with red like this I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm gonna have a timer set up, so I'm not gonna be uh, not gonna spend too long on the video. I'll try and make it short and concise, so you can learn everything you need to know without wasting too much of your time, but not being too quick, so that you can't un you don't understand any of it. I'll go into a lot of detail, so it'll be fairly long, let's say seven minutes. Firstly, you want to get coordinates, and you need a piece of paper. So grab a piece of paper, and yeah. Grab a piece of paper, pause the video now and come back when you have a piece of paper because you'll need quite a bit of rough paper just to make your notes. So first of all we're going to find any one of the corners of this cuboid or whatever we want to select. So here we are. We're going to use this corner as, actually no, this one as a, as the base point. So that is 154.10. As you can see I'm looking at, looking at uh, on the screen which is just about there. That's really useful because you can see it without actually having to go there and stand there, etc. So you find the coordinate of that, that's 154.10. Write that on your piece of paper and then you need to do some new stuff which is also added in 1.8. So you can now destroy that because you've got it on your paper and look in the direction. So which this should be the place you put, isn't it? Is the corner of your selection. So look away from the edges. So you want to look into the selection and this way is positive Z you can see facing south positive Z and then put down on a piece of paper uh, positive Z so maybe PZ and then move over to the other edge and it's also positive X if it's negative I will tell you I'll show you in a minute with another example so now we've got positive X and positive Z positive Z we need to now look at where the second point is and the second point is going to be there and we put our first point there so if we now look up we know that's obviously uh, positive x. So if you have a look, it's going up. So that's lower than that. So it's going to be positive y, I mean. And it's one block higher, so positive y1. Cool. So we note this down now. So it's positive z, positive x, and positive y. Now we need to find out, find how many blocks it's going over in the z, x, and y. So first of all, we'll start off with x. So you need to note down that it's going over one, two. So you need to put in the difference. So technically, the way it works, the logical way it works is this is 154.10 and this is 354.10. The difference between one and three is two. So you now need to note two next to the PX and we want to do the same over here. So if you look at the third coordinate on the looking at 10 and 12, which is also two. And if we look up here and look at the Y, it's 4 and 5, which is a difference of 1. So there we go. There we have it. I'm going to get these notes together and I'm going to go into the command block and I'll show you how to do it. So here we are. I have my notes on my piece of paper. First of all, we're going to do whatever command you want to do. So, for example, I'll show you in a minute. I have a little example on the server on our Pixelite official uh, 1.8 vanilla server. So what we're going to do is we're going to first of all put, let's say, slash say. So you don't need a slash, you can put a slash if you want, but you don't need to put a slash in. 
So slash say, and then you need to put at a, at p, or at e, at e or at r. So that will select a random player. But I'm going to put at a for now. So first of all, we need to put in the x, y, and the z of the base position. That's the coordinates we got at the beginning. So we put in x equals 1, y equals 54, and z equals 10. No spaces at all. Then put another comma in after all of those. As you can see, I've done that. Put another comma in. And you want to put in dx. So that's the difference between the x. And that is 2 because we know it's positive. And then you want to get dy, which is the difference between the y's. And that equals 1 because it's positive. If it was negative, it would be minus 1. And the dz which equals in this circumstance, uh, circumstance is 2. So as you can see here, that is the command. And now, this is running on a clock, I think. Yeah, it is. So we can go under here and it'll start saying our name as soon as we are in here. Now, note that it takes your foot as a position. So if I put in high, as you can see, that it's still going through and spamming the chat like that. But if I was out of this, let's say here, it's not saying my name and if I was not inside the region it's not saying my name either only when I'm inside here so that's really useful now I'll do one more example and then we'll get on to a little example uh, one more example and then we'll get on to a proper example which is on a server which I've made before now you're going to tell me what to do so first of all what do we need to do? So first of all, I'll tell you, but you need to think about it yourself as to learn. So we find the coordinate of one corner. So let's say this one now, because we're going to go in negatives, just for, as an example. So this corner's coordinates are minus 4, 52, 10. If we remember that and we leave that block there, we now need to go in the X and find the difference between that. So if we put a block there and we see the first number in the looking at and it's minus 4 and minus 6 the difference between that is minus 2 now if we go to the y so we go put one in the y at the other end of the y so there's 52 and 55 the difference between that is plus 3 now with the z there wasn't any change at all because the z stays at 10 throughout the whole thing so you don't actually need to do anything with that now we've got our numbers I will put them inside this command block. So first of all, you want to say, say, at a, at e, at r, or at p, and then you need to put in x equals minus four, comma, y equals 52, comma, z equals 10. And then you need to put in the difference, so different dx, difference x, equals minus two, difference, uh, difference uh, z, equals no difference y equals plus three and i've laid this out on a way that i'm just going to show you on my screen now so this is how i laid it out on my paper and hopefully you'll do the same when you do it next time so here we are this should now say if we make sure this is correct um at a something's gone wrong Actually, you might not be able to use negatives in this. No, that's not it. I'm going to check. Oh, yeah, you can't put plus. Sorry. So that's better. So now you need to go in here. And as you can see, it's saying my name throughout the whole thing. And if I go out of it, like before, it won't say anything at all. So you can use these for different things, like I'll show you now. I'm on the Pixelite testing snapshot server and the freaky noise displayed. And this is where I've made some pretty cool stuff for my friends, like this hidden door thing, and that is really snazzy, and it's in for a corner, and I made this all using redstone, and it fills that block in there, which is cool, but on this world, we've created a few kind of parkours, that's the redstone for the thing over there, now, this is what I've made, it doesn't look the best, but it works, and I haven't actually put any parkour in it yet though. So that's a bit silly. Anyway, what I've done is I've also used some other new stuff, which is showing a 
sidebar to people in a certain team. But anyway, we'll get in here, alright? So, this is the parkour. The way this works is it's actually taking anyone who's inside this whole cube and putting them in game mode zero. So if I put myself in game mode one, it'll put myself back in game mode two. I mean, I mean. Alright, so, ah, that's a bit awkward. I'm going to quickly fix this and I'll get back to you in a little bit. So it's been oh so it's been a little while since my last cut. Oh, so let me sort this out. Just got back onto my computer and there's another member player on the server right now. But go say hi to him. Um, okay, so I've turned these off, now I'm gonna turn the clocks back on. So what we have here is we have the keyboard selection. So anyone inside that keyboard is going to put into adventure, going to be put into adventure mode. So I could actually um, show you that right now. So if I just go out here and I'm now in adventure mode because I'm in the keyboard, and it's actually only targeting anyone who's not in adventure mode right now. And this red area here is also a keyboard. So anyone who's inside this red area gets DP back. And I'm going to show you how I do this. So I'm going to talk quite quickly now because I'm running out of time. So if I just show you here, so first of all, this command here is the uh, this is what it is. So this command gets uh, this command gets activated before this command. So it's taken these are the coordinates and the difference between this block here and the block in the corner over there. So this is the watery area bit. So it's doing it's adding a parkour attempts one and it's also uh, TPing the person back to the start position. And then this command here is just taking anyone who's inside the whole area, so as you can see, it's gone up quite a bit and it's like that. The coordinates there, anyone who's in game mode 1, it will affect. And then it's giving everyone a resistance who's in there and it's also giving everyone in there saturation. So that's how it works and that's how you'd use this command in, in a real situation. So I'll just demo here. Like if I go into here, as soon as I'm going to be turned into, uh, into uh, adventure mode, that's not because of the uh, the button over here. It's not the button doesn't do it. It's the... Um, it's the command, so yeah, there you go. And it's added one to my score even though I can't see it because I can't see the leaderboard right now. Or the scoreboard, yeah. And that's how I've done it, so thanks for watching guys. This has been Dan on the Pixelite channel. Oh, this has taken a very long time to make, a load of time editing. And I just hope I hope it's, it's, it's good for you and guys. And it wasn't too long, and you've probably learned some stuff today. Sorry for making it really long, but yeah. Bye.